This video sounds ridiculous, but think back. Did anyone teach you how to sleep? They taught you how to use a spoon or wipe your butt, but they never taught you how to sleep. Yeah, you close your eyes and pretend to sleep, but do you know what time? I am Max, and in this video, I will be going over the science behind sleep, why it is essential, how it affects your face, and will give you the basics of sleeping right. A lack of sleep will age a man a decade. This is huge. The more slash better you sleep, the more efficient your metabolism will become, and the more muscle you will build, the fat you will burn, and the stronger you will get. Lack of sleep slows the metabolism, increases blood pressure, ghrelin, hunger hormone, causes insulin resistance, and increases cortisol. Sleep is also a cognitive enhancer. Ideally, a short 20 minute nap during the day is also a big help. Usually, two hours post-workout after a meal, if possible, is particularly beneficial when training twice or more daily. However, taking a nap too late in the day can disrupt circadian rhythms and make it more challenging to get to sleep at night. What you need is consistent quality sleep. It will give you a more athletic performance, increased mood, higher libido, a sharper memory, and higher testosterone levels. Beauty sleep isn't a joke. Also, you will look older instantly if you don't sleep enough. Overnight swollen, sunken eyes, dark circles, and pale, dehydrated skin. Let's quickly go over some studies. Several studies of prolonged sleep deprivation also suggest breaks in skin barrier function. In a study, rats subjected to prolonged sleep loss develop ulcerative lesions on their paws and tails and susceptibility to bacterial infections. People are less inclined to socialize with people who looked sleepy. What happens when you don't get enough sleep? The less you sleep, the more your nuts shrink. Studies showing the effect just after one week of sleep reduction. Testosterone levels were decreased by 10 to 15% in healthy young males. Sleep deprivation affects cognitive performance. Sleep deprivation triggers the immune system to act as if you were under physical stress. Lack of sleep kills libido and results in erectile dysfunction. Japanese workers who went to bed later showed more depressive symptoms than those who went earlier. Sleep loss limits fat loss. Sleep is also critical for learning physical and mental patterns and skills for sports and education. What keeps you from getting good sleep? Short answer, not having a habit of sleeping simultaneously every day. It is effortless to fall asleep when you have a natural rhythm. It's best to follow your body's natural circadian clock. Eight hours of sleep is the standard recommendation. 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. is a good time to sleep and wake up for most people. Obviously not possible for everyone. What fucks up your natural rhythm? Artificial light sources before bed, blue light, working night shifts, stimulants, forcing wakefulness on your body, stress, increased cortisol. If you religiously take creatine and only sleep five hours a night, you're a fucking idiot. If you wake up early after inadequate sleep to do cardio, you're stepping over $100 bills to pick up nickels. It's a zero sum game. Ideally, sleeping more than eight hours is optimal, and nine to 10 hours for athletes has been shown to improve strength and performance even more. Greg Knuckles, strongerbyscience.com, recent meta-analysis on sleep states that the biggest takeaway from all of these studies is that nothing beats making sure your head is on your pillow for enough hours each night. Both studies examining the effects of sleep extension, increasing time in bed to 9 to 10 plus hours per night, found marked performance improvements in high-level athletes in a short period, while all other interventions had mixed results. Greg Solutions Practicing good sleep hygiene Children and pets should sleep in separate beds. Sleep according to your circadian rhythm, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. or 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Every hour you get to sleep before midnight is like two hours in the sleep bank. Seven to 10 hours of sleep plus a 20 minute nap is optimal depending on your age and workload, more than 20 to 30 minutes, and you may begin deep or REM sleep, which will make you groggy when you wake up. Wake up the same time every day, seven days a week. This helps set your clock, making it easier to get to sleep at night. Sleep in a pitch black room with blackout blinds. Turn off all appliances, nightlights, etc. If that's not possible, use eye mask. If you're going to use blackout curtains, use black electrical tape and cover any cracks of light coming through, bottom of the door, windows, etc. Sleep in a quiet room or use earplugs or earphones. Don't take stimulants like caffeine or drink too much fluids too close to bedtime. Some carbohydrates in your meal about two hours before bed has been shown to help with the quality of sleep and helps prevent waking. The brain doesn't sleep and doesn't stop using glycogen all night. So if your brain gets hungry, it will cause the release of adrenaline and cortisol to get glucose from your muscle tissue, gluconeogenesis. No TV or phone within an hour of bed. The bright light prevents melatonin secretion. Wearing blue light blocker glasses will help reduce the waking impact of electronics on the eyes. If you're not going to stop using your phone before bed, you should probably wear blue light glasses. Wear three to four hours before your bedtime. 
It's almost impossible to fall asleep simultaneously every day, but these make it much quicker. Here's a good article on blue blockers. You will find clear orange or red lenses when you want to buy blue blockers. The darker colored lenses will filter more harmful light than the clearer versions. Software. By using night shift settings on your smartphones, your device will change the color of light depending on the day's time and location. Supplements and sleep aids. Magnesium is an essential dietary mineral, and deficiencies are associated with poor sleep quality. Magnesium deficiencies are more common in athletes because magnesium is lost through sweat. Supplementation of magnesium can improve sleep quality, but is also most effective for sleep-deprived people who also have low dietary magnesium intake. People with healthy magnesium levels may not experience benefits to sleep quality after supplementation. Even though magnesium can help improve sleep quality in people with low magnesium levels, it does not have a sedative effect. Therefore, you don't need to worry about getting sleepy after taking a magnesium supplement. You should also take vitamin D3 if blood levels are low. 60 to 80 ng slash DL is the optimal range. Melatonin is a hormone involved in the circadian rhythm, which dictates sleeping and waking cycles. As you wake up in the morning, melatonin levels go down, while at night, or if you dim the lights, melatonin production increases. Melatonin does not benefit sleep quality. It can only decrease the time it takes to fall asleep. If you fall asleep easily, you do not need supplement melatonin. Melatonin has not been shown to be beneficial for regular sleep and may actually cause drowsiness upon waking. It has been shown to be helpful for resetting circadian rhythms when traveling to minimize jet lag. If you fall asleep easily, you do not need to supplement melatonin. Prescription sleeping aids often prevent you from entering REM and stage 4 sleep. I don't recommend sleep aids or prescriptions. Sleep apnea. If you hold your breath or snore during sleep or wake up tired, then you may need a sleep study and ultimately a CPAP. This can be an expensive and time-consuming process, but it's imperative. You may opt to buy a used CPAP on Craigslist for an immediate and affordable resolution. Extras. Sleep Not essential, but Aura Rings are very useful. It is a fitness tractor that tracks the amount of deep and REM sleep that you get every night. This will allow you to see your baseline of sleep with your current diet, exercise, routine, etc. And you'll be able to make adjustments. With Binary. several studies to back up the health claims, binaural beats appear to be a potential tool in the fight against anxiety, stress, and negative mental states. Research has found that listening daily to audio with binaural beats may have positive effects on anxiety, memory, mood, creativity, attention. Learning to mediate isn't always easy. Binaural beats won't work for everyone and aren't considered a cure for any particular condition. However, they might offer an auditory escape for those interested in relaxing, sleeping more peacefully, or entering a meditative state. If you find this video helpful, make sure you to like the video and leave your thoughts in the comments below as it helps the YouTube algorithm.